Let's review our synthetic strategies. Um, most of the reactions in this chapter are carbon, car carbon bond forming. Um, reactions. So again, uh, looking at some of the main uh, reactions that we have are to add in carbon chains or aldol condensation reactions, Kleisen condensation reactions, Michael reactions, or the Stork enamine version of the Michael reaction. Um, the positions of the functional groups in the target compound will dictate what reactions uh, are need to be used to synthesize it. So the stork enamine synthesis uh, usually creates 1,5-dicarbonyl compounds, right? So looking at a ketone and adding on um, another carbonyl compound at the fifth position away from that original ketone, thanks stork enamine synthesis. Aldol or Kleisen uh, use that 1,3-difunctional carbonyl compound. So it could either be a Kleisen, an aldol, uh, addition where we have the beta hydroxy aldehyde or ketone, or even creating the alpha beta unsaturated position. For the Kleisen, we create uh, beta keto esters, 1 3 functionality. Um, we have learned two methods of alkylation. The alpha position of enolates being attacked by uh, doing an SN2 reaction. Um, with an alkyl halide, or again, the Michael donor attacks the beta position of a Michael acceptor. So you could think of um, this as our Michael acceptor because it has that beta position. Any Michael donor can be over the reaction arrow here. The alpha position can also be um, utilized. This is a new synthetic strategy that's brought up in this section. Um, remember that after step number one, we have added the R group, which is ethyl from the cuprate to the beta position. And we have effectively an enolate that we had seen in the section of um, Michael reactions uh, follow up with a water or an acid workup. Um, we could follow that up with an SN2 reaction where the enolate then attacks the carbon of a um, methyl iodide, methyl halide, or a um, primary alkyl halide in an SN2 reaction. So it's like, kind of like this combination in this, um, in this step where we do the uh, direct alkylation as well as Michael addition. Couple of reactions just to remember. I like this review of reactions just at the end so that we can see. Um, alpha halogenation had many different forms um, for our ketones or aldehydes, uh, acid catalyzed was generally the first reaction that we did. And then the haliform reaction was the base catalyzed where it polyhalogenated the alpha position. You can also uh, halogenate the alpha position of carboxylic acids with the HVZ reaction. Aldol condensation reactions um, included um, direct uh, aldol addition, aldol condensation if you used heat to create the alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde, and then crossed aldi aldol condensation reactions had their limitations but still had their important aspects, um, as well as intramolecular aldol condensations. Kleisen condensation reactions um, were important. They were uh, looking at the ester functional group instead of aldehydes or ketones this time. We saw peppering in there the idea of acyl substitution reactions from chapter 20, where we saw the tetrahedral intermediate form and then the loss of the um, ethoxide leaving group for our ester. And then alkylation, we did uh, uh, alkylation via enolates, whether that was um, our kinetic, I can spell, I promise kinetic versus thermodynamic um, type enolation with um, unsymmetrical molecules, the malonic ester synthesis and the acetoacetic ester synthesis. 
And then finally, Michael additions. Um, when we saw stabilized carbon nucleophiles um, can undergo Michael addition. Um, the stork enamine synthesis was our workaround if we didn't have stabilized uh, Michael donors. And then the Robinson annulation was like the epitome of everything in chapter 21, just like going haywire. If you didn't think carbon reacted just willy nilly before, you think carbon can do whatever it wants. Um, it, is, it is a truly amazing reaction, the Robinson annulation, where it combines Michael addition and an intramolecular uh, aldol.